Good evening, everyone. All right. So glad to see you today again. My name is Cynthia Barber, and I am your deputy city manager, and I'm so pleased to be here uh, to welcome you today. I know that there are so many things that you could be doing, so we are very excited and pleased that you've joined us here tonight for the 2024 Neighborhood Awards Program, the Bicentennial Edition. <laughs> yeah, that deserves a clap. We're 200 years young, 200 years young. The theme for tonight is Tallahassee 200, a celebration of neighbors and neighborhoods. As you know, Tallahassee has a story that is very profound. We are a community of doers, dreamers, and believers. Our ambition endures to innovate, commemorate, illuminate, activate, educate, negotiate, <laughs> elevate, celebrate, create and appreciate. That's the reason for us to be here tonight, to applaud all of you for the work that you do in your neighborhoods and on behalf of our community every day. So thank you so much. The city's Neighborhood Awards program is an opportunity to recognize and celebrate the excellence that we see in all of our neighborhoods and for the neighborhood leadership that makes that happen. We know without a doubt that your work contributes greatly to how we overcome challenges and threats and issues in our community. And I know without your leadership, these things would not be possible. So we want to thank you again for that. We want to congratulate all of our nominees tonight who are here with us, our visitors, our volunteers, who stepped up and chosen to serve their communities and to make your neighborhoods and our, neighbor and our community better. Whether that's helping with beautification projects, and I'm out in the community a lot, so I see some of those projects. And I'm always impressed with what I see in the neighborhoods. And I think it's a little bit like in our neighborhood, if I want the grass to be cut, I go next door and I tell the neighbor that they need to cut their grass because if my husband sees the grass being cut next door, even if he cut it two days ago, he's getting out the lawnmower. <laughs> no matter what it is, he's, if he sees them doing it, he's making an effort to improve our area. And that speaks to the pride that people have in their neighborhoods. You don't want to be that one yard, which you know, there are times I must admit I've been that yard. But we strive to make our, our, our individual homes and neighborhoods, our yards look good so that our neighborhoods look good. So thank you for that. Whether it's being a friend or a helping hand when there's a need in your neighborhood, all of those things make a difference. And I believe all of those things help make Tallahassee a special place that it is. So on behalf of the city, we want to celebrate you for a job well done. Thank you for your dedication and commitment. I'm Commissioner Curtis Richardson, uh, the Mayor Pro Tem currently serving as the Mayor Pro Tem of the great city of Tallahassee, the all-America city that Tallahassee has twice been designated. It is my pleasure to be here this evening and to see so many familiar faces, uh, some of my Southside neighborhood neighbors, if you will. The Neighborhood Awards program has always been one of my absolute favorite events and I look forward to it each and every year. The City of Tallahassee has been recognizing outstanding neighborhoods and citizens who go above and beyond to further enrich the community. We've been doing this for more than 40 years, y'all. Collaboration between neighborhood leaders like all that are here this evening and the city make us a stronger community. By working together, we identify and address needs, ensuring that policies and programs support the unique characteristics of our neighborhoods. I believe it is essential that engaged neighborhoods and local government work hand in hand. We ensure a resilient community when we do that. There are many examples, but we saw this most recently with Hurricane Helene, as I just mentioned. Neighborhood leaders helped organize preparedness efforts from distributing supplies to checking on vulnerable neighbors. And we have some in our neighborhood and we check on them constantly to make sure that they and their families are okay. In the face of natural disasters, an engaged and organized neighborhood can be the difference between chaos and coordinated safety. Storm recovery efforts will be something we all remember about this year in addition of course, to our community turning 200 years old, our bicentennial, y'all. And in a nod to our city's bicentennial, <laughs> this year's theme is Tallahassee 200, 
a celebration of neighbors and neighborhoods. Congratulations to all who submitted entries for the 2024 Neighborhood Awards. Thank you for all that you do. You are all winners. Your hard work, which is volunteered, is appreciated and does not go unnoticed. Thank you to Neighborhood Affairs and Parks and Recreation for hosting this great recognition program and for the tremendous job that they do in helping to direct and work with our neighbors and neighborhoods. Neighbors, enjoy the evening and keep up the great work in your neighborhoods. You make us Tallahassee proud. Thank you all so much. Good evening. Good evening. The category of Best Neighborhood Program Communication nominees Jay Gaither, Neighborhood Association, Griffin Heights Neighborhood Association. Emails are sent on a regular basis to members who provide email addresses on the membership forms. These include announcements, minutes of meetings, flyers, etc. Those who are emails delivered printed copies, a quarterly four-page colored newsletters was distributed to members online and delivered to those without email. The January and November issues are delivered to every house in the neighborhood. January appeal. For membership, dues, December, invitation to holiday social, community awareness, flyers was delivered to every household as needed. Facebook page is under construction. The winner is, drum roll please. <laughs> Jay Gaither Neighborhood Association. The best neighborhood program, social improvement. The nominees are the Jay Gaither Neighborhood Association, and the South City Neighborhood Association. Uh, one association hosts a back to school bash. The association purchased 30 backpacks. The neighbors donated supplies. Children and parents came to the community center to pick up bags and were treated to hot dogs, snacks, drinks, and music by the association social committee. Uh, holiday social. They've hosted. Residents were invited to an evening at the community center, which was beautifully decorated with a bountiful buffet. They socialized and played games and won prizes. They also recognized neighbors. The accomplishment of neighbors were highlighted in meetings and in newsletters. The neighbors were encouraged and participated in the city ceremony, unveiling the marker listing the Jake Gaither golf course on the National Register of Historic Places. And actually, I wasn't supposed to say the name of the association. <laughs> <laughs> this neighborhood association made significant strides in forming or by forming an association, increasing membership, meeting attendance through door to door, canvassing, and launching a Facebook page to keep residents updated on events and critical information, such as weather alerts. The residents also participated in the Neighborhood Leadership Academy enhancing their leadership skills, and fostering greater community involvement. May we have a drum roll, please? Second place, the South City Neighborhood Association. So that means the first place winner is the Jake Gaither Neighborhood Association. Um, so I'm here to uh, present the award for Best Neighborhood Program Physical Improvement. Um, the nominees for this year's award are the Griffin Heights Neighborhood Association and the Jake Gaither Neighborhood Association. This year's uh, uh, recipient um, replaced old broken wooden signs at the entrance to all five subdivisions with col colorful reflective um, metal signs and enclosed in red brick structures. They also sponsored a curb appeal program uh, for the best front yards in the neighborhood. They uh, notified the neighbors of the criteria, solicited judges, and um, created uh, certificates for first, second, and third place. 
which were presented to the winners at their holiday social this year. They also leased a plot of land in the FAMU Community Garden on Orange Avenue to provide opportunities for residents to plant and harvest vegetables and flowers. All right, so this year's recipient of um, Best Neighborhood Program for Physical Improvement is the Jake Gaither Neighborhood Association. So, as courtesy coordinator for this neighborhood association, she delivers flowers and gift cards to the ill, whether they're home or in the hospital, and to bereaved members. She mails cards to and has them either mailed or delivered to non-members. During the holidays, she asked neighbors to donate gift cards for a neighbor who lost most of her belongings in a house fire and was displaced. She arranged a luncheon for her and presented more than $500 to her. During Teacher Appreciation Week, she suggested something be done for the teachers of neighborhood children and signs were made. She and another neighbor drove to Bond, NIMS, FAMU DRS, and Rickards to put the signs out. She is constantly thinking of doing something for others, especially the seniors, and personally purchased flowers for the three 90-year-olds in her subdivision and invited two other neighbors to accompany her on visits to deliver those flowers. So without further ado, and I'll... All right, the winner is Barbara Norwood from Jake Gaither Neighborhood Association. I will now present to you the Neighborhood Advocacy Award. The nominees for this award are Apostle Willie D. Whiting Jr. of the Jake Gaither Neighborhood Association and Mr. Roderick Arnold of the South City Neighborhood Association. The winner in this category led in increasing paid households and neighborhoods from 28 previous years to 105 in 2023. He walked the neighborhood knocking on doors with membership forms in hand, introducing himself and inviting others to join the Neighborhood Association. He actively laid groundwork for getting the old wooden signs at subdivision entrances replaced with reflective metal signs encased in brick columns. He contacted, met with city and county personnel about flooding and beautification issues and possibility of grant assistance. He advocated for neighbors attending meetings and being informed via fly flyers and email in neighborhoods being involved in activities outside the neighborhood that reflect positivity on the neighborhood. And the first place winner for the neighborhood neighbor of the year in the category of neighborhood advocacy is Apostle Willie D. Whiting Jr. of the J. Gaither Neighborhood Association. Let's give a round of applause for Mr. Rod Arnold of the South City Neighborhood Association. This award goes to the Small Neighborhood of the Year, which is for neighborhoods with 200 or less homes. Nestled in the heart of Killern, this neighborhood renovates, renovated its clubhouse in 2023. They purchase and install a community lending library for neighbors to exchange books. A reading area underneath a large oak tree in the neighborhood was created as well. Sunshades were installed in the pool area. The association periodically prepared and distributes information on trash, recycling schedule, requirements for pickup and encourage owners to recycle. The association has a website it uses for posting community information, sending email blasts to owners and residents, and keeps neighbors connected. 
The website has the capability to send email and text blasts to owners and residents. This is most helpful, getting information to everyone during storm or uh, other sensitive time events. The association hosted a variety of social events to bring neighbors together and have, create a sense of community, making this neighborhood a beautiful townhouse community located in the heart of Tulare. Help me to celebrate the small neighborhood of the year, the Sawgrass Plantation Homeowners Association. <laughs> And now the moment we've all been waiting for, right? The big category, this is it. Neighborhood, neighborhood of the Year, Large Neighborhood. Our nominees are Greater Bond Neighborhood Association. Let's give them a hand. I'd like to give everybody some recognition tonight. Jake Gaither Neighborhood Association. Oxbottom Manor Homeowners Association. Town and Country Neighborhood Association. There we go. And South City Neighborhood Association. Congratulations to all of our nominees. The winner of this year's award, though, is a neighborhood that has hosted four meetings with a variety of speakers. They always include their TPD liaison. They've produced four newsletters that were hand delivered by volunteers to all the neighbors. They've hosted neighborhood emergency response teams trainings for residents who wish to assist in times of need. They've hosted a neighborhood-wide yard sale with a neighborhood church and hosted a booth at the church's annual fall festival. They've hosted a neighborhood block party offering free food, games, music. They've offered a plant exchange with the help of a master gardener. They've offered holiday decoration contests in fall and December with prizes awarded for the best decor based on resident feedback. They have an active crime watch group and the primary critical need addressed by these engaging activities was a desire for strong community connections among both established and new residents. Their efforts have helped provide a sense of place that all neighbors can be welcomed in and feel proud of. They enjoy a very low crime rate with calls for service substantially lower than neighborhoods nearby. They attribute this metric to increased neighbor engagement. Join me in celebrating this year's 2024 Large Neighborhood of the Year, Town and Country. All right, that concludes our program this evening. On behalf of the City of Tallahassee, I want to thank you for joining us for tonight's 2024 Neighborhood Awards program. Again, we applaud all of you for your efforts to empower, inspire, and elevate your neighborhoods. And we look forward to continuing to work alongside you have a good evening and a safe trip home. We'll see you next year.